popping. Catch her on the streets. You know she always popping. It's Candy B popping. Candy B popping. Candy B popping. Catch her on the street. She popping. What's good? What's good? No, the whole purpose is to be different, to be like no other. Candy B in the building, y'all. And I decided to pop up on my girl, Janasia. Y'all already know who she is and what she doing. She is like no other. Let's get it going. All right, so congratulations thank on you, your awards. You. So you won two mm -hmm. at our first award, award ceremony here in the Dub K Stand Up. How did it feel to win two awards in one night? It was good. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to win both, though. Really? Yeah. Well, outside looking in, I knew you was going to win because you put in the work. Well, a lot of people said that, but. You are a hard worker. Her hours are, is it still seven to seven? Basically. Seven to seven, y'all. She don't play. When you're serious about your craft, it's going to show. She's like no other. <laughs> <laughs> so um, did you think that doing dreads was going to get this big for you? Mm, when I first started, no. Probably about after the third year, I was just like, oh, shit, this could probably turn into something real. So with you starting dreads, did you know that Wichita needed that market? Is that kind of like what got you going into it? Mm, not really. It was more of <laughs> every everybody was different, so. Nobody really had dreads when I first started doing them. It started off with, with like 10 people, then they went to 20, 30, went up from there. Shut up, that's crazy, that's a blessing. So you just woke up one day and was just like, you know, I think I might want to start doing dreads. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> nope, definitely not. So you kind of planned it out? No, my baby daddy, he had dreads. So my oldest, her dad, he had dreads. That's how it really started. And then you just uh, watch YouTube tutorials? No, like I went to Atlanta and took classes. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no. I hate YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I hate YouTube for this. Not for that. I hate YouTube for the simple purpose of they're going to sit there and try to tell you and educate you on something that you cannot really. You, you, it's, don't go to YouTube for hair. Look, I like that because everybody else is like, oh, just YouTube. Yeah, no. YouTube that's will show dangerous. you everything. And I'm just like, I don't but think that's true. But they can't show you the hair textures, the hair techniques. They can't show you. Ex it might look easy from somebody else doing it, and it's really not. And you're going to mess up your hair. Right. What? Um. So you went and took a class in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Was it like a month long, week long? So it was like a, what, two-week boot camp? Nice. Was it a packed class? Yeah. And they just step by step. Step by step, they crammed everything in what basically a two week period. That's cool. And then you come back to the dub. Now I know you didn't have your building. Nope. Nope. I was still doing it out of my apartment at that time. But it grew pretty quick. So how long did it take you to get your building? Mm, well, I quit my actual job in 2016. Okay. So. How long was that after you had finished the class that you quit your job? Like the time span. So what I started doing them when I was about 19, then went job, job, job. I've been doing them for a long time. That was the only thing. Um, so maybe about a year and then you quit your job? No, girl, <laughs> I'm saying it was like probably like five years. Like what, if I, I was 26 when I quit my job oh, to start okay. doing dreads. So you kind of held on to yeah. it for a little bit. Yeah, okay. no, I kept it as a side hustle because that's what I was just like. Psh. This is a side hustle. But then it just started getting too busy and you was like, I can't do it. No, that didn't happen either. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> See, this is why I was like, you might want to go over the questions. Cause <laughs> hey, everybody uh, in the hood is getting their dreads done by Janasia. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's not how it So do you have either. a favorite style that you enjoy doing or? Mm, no. So you just I like when people come in and ask to just get freestyled. Like, really? so it's just different. Everybody tries to get two strands and this and this and that. Everybody will come in like, oh, you just did this. No, the whole purpose is to be different, to be like no other. So it, I, I like to do freestyles, not, oh, show me the picture that I just did on somebody else's head. Right, so you can showcase your talent, what you can really do. Exactly. This is an art. Doing hair is another form of art, you guys, if you didn't Why know. I want you to do that with mine. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, I got you. Yeah, you know, She's gonna do that freestyle. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Stand out. I, I heard you. that. 
Okay, so I know you're a mom, mm -hmm. a mom of two girls, yep. beautiful. Six and ten. Look, they about to be ready to start driving, especially the six-year-old. Man. <laughs> <laughs> she done drove a couple Mama, times. Mama, give me the keys. <laughs> And um, so how do you balance uh, doing dreads and being a mom? It's hard. Is it really? Yeah, if I just did dreads. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of stuff going on. That's the only difference. Oh, really? So, so do you still find time for yourself like you want? No. <laughs> you All the you questions you ask me, I'm going to say no. We need to get her a massage. I'm going to get you a massage. It's what people up. think. People think being an entrepreneur is like easy and like, oh, you have all the time in the world. Like, no, no literally. I when I quit I was just like it was literally just because my grandma was like hey you need to choose like hey you can't be sitting here taking all the time away from your kids to be going to work and then getting off work to go back to work and I'm just like okay well I'm gonna choose one so I chose hair because I was like okay thinking it it's more convenient so I know you take Sundays off right so that's your day you nope. spend with the baby? <laughs> you, <don't>. pick, <laughs> you pick the Sunday back up to work too? Yeah. Basically, I have to come in and do inventory on merch and all that type of stuff. Really? So the babies pretty much, they got to school and they just with you? Just mm, yeah. Or they'll go They'll go with my sister. They'll come up here and hang out. They be a little bit of, they just be chilling. They already know the routine. So That's cool. So really probably. But this year, I know I am like, hey. You finna get some time because y'all get to the age of. It's a new year and we <laughs> yeah. ain't doing this no more. Mm -mm. <laughs> like, hey. But yeah, when I'm, y'all know you still do your mother motherly duties of you know feeding them, tucking them in at night, getting them Got ready to. in the morning. So that's a little bit of time you get to have with them, and I know they. But that's not it. enough for I me. Know, that's I know. where I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm finna slow down. But that's where I, I had added everybody else. Mm. So basically, I can take a day off. So now, what we have three other girls that work up here. Nice. That also do locks, so that's the only good thing. You know, if so I get has sick. has that been working out? Yeah. I mean, I still fully be booked, but if somebody can't get with me or if I have to cancel, they still have the option to come in and get their hair done by somebody else. Mm -hmm. So it's not just, oh, I can't cancel because I got 23 appointments today and where are they going to fit the next day? Like, I used to be, like, I just didn't want to <laughs> disappoint people like oh right. uh, so I'd be working myself to the dirt just to try to you know so do you ever have people that's like nah man I'm gonna wait on you yeah yeah that's mm -hmm. always gonna now happen. that's loyalty I like that that's okay. just one of them hey I don't want nobody else in there so the dreads you're doing on her hair right now now what kind of dreads are these these are instant locks so basically she's going from a straight afro to straight into dreads I'm gonna crochet it Shut and up. then retwist it down, it? <laughs> and then it's gonna Can literally feel, like, yeah. okay. feel like regular Shut dreads. Up. They do, and don't have to wait. No, nope. don't have to wait Shut for the up. whole now, locking process. How often process. does she have to come in and get them like redone? Retwisted? Yeah. Monthly, just like if she was already have dreads. Mm. So that's the only thing. So she's still gonna have to maintain some on a regular like, oh, come and get a retwist style. She's just skipping the whole starter phase. So what on her length? It probably would have took about six to eight months for hair to hair to lock. So that's why she's skipping straight into the whole little process. Well, I think this is way better than doing it the other way. True, but it's costly. That's the only thing. Oh. So that's where you get a lot of people like, mm, okay, is it worth it? It, really it is worth it's it. Worth it. It's, it's worth it when you actually break it down because the amount of money that you spend trying to keep it together Same, for the starters, yeah. it's... It's going to add up to that. It really looks like a dread already, honestly. Yeah. But the crazy part is after I go in to retwist it, that's when it's going to be like, whoa. <laughs> like, Shut up. <laughs> she said, she got hey, hey, <laughs> let me do my dread dance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look, are you going to add some color to them later? Oh, yeah. Look. I'm a, I'm a number 27 um, girl. Okay. Gold. I love it. I love it. But I don't know what I'm going to do, you know, now that I have it in this style. There's just so much. You can do whatever. I know. i seen her do rainbow color. I'm stalking her on Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> she said, I'm I was like, talking. oh, I want that and I want that, you know, so. Good deal. Well, this is amazing to see her, y'all. Caught her at the perfect time doing it with my... No, I think I like to uh, <laughs> comb my hair. I think, yeah. think I'll be cool on that one. You, you got to be about that life to dread it up. You got to be about that Because I've life. seen people's hair that you have started and just they keep going back to you. Yeah. And it just looks it's a good. lot of people that like you get different types of people. You get people that want to go through the process just to grow out their hair. And then 
because a lot of people do do that. They'll go through the, oh, start it here, keep it up for a year, grow it out, and then take it back down. Then you have the people that just don't want to do anything to their hair anymore, which is majority of the people that get locked. I was going to say. Yeah. That's crazy. But you have to hair. be fully committed. That's true. Because you can't, it's like a tattoo. Once you get it done, it's done. Ain't no going back, you know? I love it. To a certain it. extent, because you can come out dreads. <laughs> Man, if, if people take their dress, then I'm be like, man, you stupid. <laughs> you should have just kept them in. So, um, you're always doing something new. You know, you got your clothing line. She just told me that she has lip gloss. Her babies are starting a lip gloss line. She has eyelashes. I got one of her keychains. I mean, the list goes on for her brand. So, what what is new that you got for the new year? I can't tell you. What? <laughs> no, all my drops. I got a lot of stuff coming. That's all I can tell you. So, springtime, summer, when should, when should we be looking? The whole year. Hmm. <laughs> the whole year. There's stuff on their way right now. It's stuff getting made for springtime drops and stuff getting made for summertime drops and oh. wintertime drops at this point. Hey, if you come out with some booty shorts, it's, com that's, it's, it's coming for summertime. Hey, I don't know. It looks tank top, crop top like no other. Oh, when man. I'm peeping on the scene, baby. So, um, I always like to ask a random question. <laughs> so, do you still bump R. Kelly? I do. Look, okay, yeah. I wish, I wish, I wish. Hey, I woke up singing that today. Don't play with me. I know what he did was wrong, but he made hey, good his music. music. Yeah, okay. Right. The music didn't do nothing wrong. <laughs> Writer. I don't know Writer. him as a person, so I can't judge him off of that. See, we speak the same language. That's what I'm talking about. So go ahead and let the people know where they can find you if they want to get their dress started. They want Insta Locks. <laughs> I'm on the corner at 21st and Broadway. Um, you can find my social media page. What I think my Facebook is Janaysha Nache Portly. Um, my Instagram is like no other 316, and my Snapchat is like no other 316. Yeah, and I follow her on Snap. She keeps it popping, snapping dreads, colors. What's it called? ACV wash. Girl, everything. She does Merch. it all. Merch. I put everything on Snap first. Snap gets first release of everything. She cold. She cold. So y'all, y'all know where she located at. Y'all walk up them steps. If y'all ain't familiar, get familiar. Follow her. Tag her. Once you get your Insta locks, you know. It's my girl, Janasia. I'm Candy B. And we out. Look, hold <laughs> it down.